Hello Wobblies, welcome to Wobbly Otter Outdoors. I'm Chris and in this episode we're taking a look at some of the things to consider when you're buying a water bottle. This may seem like an unusual topic and it kind of is to me too, but when I went on Amazon and looked at their best sellers and camping and hiking in late May, 34 of the top 100 items were water bottles. Of those 34, 24 specifically said that they were BPA free, they were plastic bottles, 4 were for kids, 8 were gallon size, and most of those had motivational phrases on them, and 6 were stainless steel. Because of their popularity, that's why we're looking at water bottles. This episode is made possible in part by generous supporters on Patreon. So in the past when camping and hiking, I have used a disposable water bottle that I purchased water in. Even though these are BPA free, there are studies that show that chemicals can leach into the water. And also disposable bottles are not made to be reusable bottles. Bacteria can get in crevices and that can upset your tummy. I know, had that experience, not gonna do that again. The two materials we're gonna look at are BPA free plastic and stainless steel. With stainless steel water bottles, you will see either single wall or double wall stainless steel. When comparing plastic to stainless steel, the stainless steel has advantages in that it doesn't leach chemicals into the water. Benefits of the plastic water bottles are they are usually less expensive, they are lighter, many are clear or translucent, you can see how much liquid is inside. Benefits of the double walled stainless steel water bottles are that they are insulated, so they will keep cool items cool longer and hot items hot longer. They also have no condensation on the outside of the bottle. Benefits of a single wall stainless steel bottle over the double wall, they will be lighter. They will, however, have condensation and they aren't insulated. With the single wall stainless steel, you can boil water over an open fire to make that water safe to drink. Bill put together this kit of chain and a little holder that slips down into the bottle. Around something out over your fire. And there you go. So because you can boil water in it, the single wall stainless steel bottle is a great choice for survival type considerations. With a single wall stainless steel bottle, there are ways to insulate it to keep cold, cold and hot, hot. You can purchase a separate insulated water carrier like this one that Bill uses and this 40 ounce clean canteen slides in it perfectly. He puts this on his hiking pack. If we're going on longer hikes, if we're going on shorter ones, he just uses this by itself. It has a strap that attaches. The three water bottles we have representing each one of the types of the materials are first the Nalgene Triton Wide Mouth. It's BPA free plastic. It's also BPS and phthalate free. This is the water bottle that I keep in my go bag and it has never leaked. The Nalgene Triton Wide Mouth water bottle comes in at number eight in Amazon's top 100 and it has 13,641 reviews. You have an option of 35 colors. It's a one liter bottle, so just over a quart. It costs right around $11 on Amazon. The brand that is representing our double wall stainless steel water bottles is the Hydrocell. The Hydrocell comes in at number 17 on Amazon's top 100 and it comes in with just over 8,200 reviews. It's made of 18.8 stainless steel, which most of the stainless steel bottles that I was coming across are made of is the 18.8. This particular water bottle holds 24 ounces and costs right around $19 on Amazon. The Hydrocell water bottle in one Amazon listing has 48 size and color combinations that are available. There are two other brands that are very similar in design and materials to Hydrocells. 
They are Hydro Flask and Iron Flask. Hydro Flask came in at number 23 in Amazon's Top 100. The Iron Flask Double Wall Stainless Steel Bottle comes in at number 7. All are made of 18-8 stainless steel and are double walled insulated bottles. All three brands come in a variety of colors and they also offer the gradient colors like this one. When choosing a water bottle, if you're looking for one that will fit inside a cup holder, most of the ones that are 24 ounces or smaller will fit inside a cup holder. This 24 ounce one will. And last but far from least is the Clean Canteen. The Clean Canteen is representing the single wall stainless steel bottles. It's made of 18.8 stainless steel, 18% chromium, 8% nickel. And while Clean Canteen did not make the top 100 on Amazon's list, I think there's a reason for that. When the different companies list the size and colors available, Clean Canteen tends to split a lot of theirs out into separate listings in Amazon. So when looking at all of Clean Canteen's listings that had over a thousand reviews and adding those up, they had 15,000 reviews plus. So they're doing fine. The Clean Canteen we're looking at is a 40 ounce water bottle. It's also available on Amazon for right around $35. I think that Clean Canteen has an incredible range of products available and shows a lot of innovation in their products. And one feature that stands out for Clean Canteen is the inside of their caps are stainless steel. So when the Clean Canteen bottle is closed up, only stainless steel comes in contact with what's inside. This 40 ounce bottle has the leak proof cap. Another nice feature is the gasket has a tab on it that makes it easy to remove for cleaning. With the Clean Canteen, you can get them with a brushed finish on the outside, or they also have powder coated finishes as well that are solid colors. We'll put links to all the products in this video down in the description below. So there seem to be a whole lot of water bottle choices. Please let us know what you think down in the comments below of the things we've mentioned and what bottle you use and what you like or maybe don't like about it. Thanks for watching Wobbly Otter. We love you and hope all your tomorrows are bright. Until next time.